Hi Anna, so where are we? Hi everyone, welcome. We're at the Shattuck Laboratory at Imperial College London. Come on in. Looks like most of campus is closed. How come you guys are still here? Yeah, so campus closed due to the lockdown of COVID-19, but us and other groups around campus that are working on COVID-19 related projects are still in the lab. Ah, that makes sense. So we're all safe in here then? Yeah, exactly. So we just wear our gloves and our lab coats and that's all the PPE that we need. Good to know. So how many people are on the team? So normally it's a team of around 30 people, but due to the lockdown, we've had four people working on the preclinical development of our vaccine. Great. So before we meet them, just remind me what a vaccine is and how it works. Yeah. So a vaccine is a way to train your immune system against a foreign pathogen. So the idea is that uh, if you're ever exposed to the disease, that it will prevent infection. OK, so that makes sense. What's your vaccine made of? Yeah, so we use a vaccine platform based off of RNA. So most people will know that DNA is found in all the cells in your body, in the nucleus. That is then transcribed into RNA, which is translated into proteins. So we're able to synthetically make RNA and use this as a vaccine. And is this what people normally make vaccines from? Nope. So normal vaccines historically have been made out of proteins or viruses. So this is a relatively new vaccine platform. And how does yours work then? So our vaccine is um, made out of RNA, and as soon as the SARS-CoV-2 virus was sequenced and made publicly available, we then knew the sequence for the protein that we were going to use. So we then encoded that in our RNA platform. We put that into lipid particles as our formulation and then injected into mice for our preclinical animal studies. Okay, so that's how RNA works as a vaccine. How do you actually make it? Yeah, so there's really four different steps. So first we make the DNA, then we make the RNA, then we put it into lipid particles, and then we test it. So I'll walk you around the lab today and introduce the, you to the team so that we can see exactly how it's made. Hi Paul, what's your role in the team? Hi, um, I'm in charge of the preclinical development of the vaccine. And what does that mean? That means that when we have a promising vaccine candidate, I test it in animals. And which animals do you use? Uh, for this, we usually use mice, um, and we have also used uh, rats, and sometimes we also use rabbits. And what are you showing us today? I'm making DNA. And what does that mean? That means that we grow the DNA, which is the uh, plasmid DNA, in bacteria, and expand and make lots of it, and then purify that from the bacteria. Ah, looks like you need a lot of kit to do that. What's that? This is just the purification column which captures the DNA from the bacteria. So the DNA sticks to the white part of the column and then the bacteria is washed away. And why DNA? I thought we were making RNA. Oh uh, yes, but the template for the RNA vaccine is starts off as being DNA. And how do you make RNA from DNA? So we use a different protein. It's an enzyme called RNA polymerase. And this attaches to the DNA and then makes an RNA strand, which is exactly the same as the DNA, the same genetic code. Great. And what's been the most interesting part of working on the COVID-19 vaccine? Well, for me, it's the fact that something that we've made in the lab is now going to go into people and it's going to be uh, have an impact on human health. And for me, it's the clinical trial part, which is the most exciting and interesting. Great stuff. So now we've made the DNA, what do we do? Well, now we make the RNA, and for that I pass it to Kay. Thank you. Hi Kay, cool name. <laughs> Thanks. My name is actually Kanye, but I go by Kay. I'm from Thailand. So what's your role in the COVID-19 team? I'm actually doing my PhD on optimizing the production and activity of our RNA vaccine. Ah, so you're the RNA expert. I guess you can say that. And today I'm going to show you how to make them. So Paul mentioned that you use a DNA template. What else do you need? Well, we basically mix our DNA template with the enzyme that makes the RNA called RNA polymerase, as well as the building blocks of the RNA called nucleotides. And then we just let the enzyme do its job. Great. So I see you're working inside a special cabinet. Why is that? Well, the thing is RNA can degrade easily. So um, that's why we have to work in this special cabinet so that the enzyme called RNAs won't uh, affect it. Great, that makes sense. So what's been the most interesting part of working on the COVID-19 vaccine? Um, honestly, how fast we've worked as a team. 
because usually the vaccine takes like 10 years to develop and license. But literally, we took six months to finish this whole thing. Wow, that's amazing. So now we have the RNA, what do we do? Well, we have to put this RNA into special particles so that our cells in the body can take this up. And I can show you how to do it. Thanks, Gay. Hi again, Anna. So this is where you work? Yeah, this is it. Loads of kitten here too. What does it all do? Yeah, there's lots of different parts of making a vaccine, but today I'm going to show you how we actually formulate the vaccine. So what's your role in the COVID team? So my background is actually in bioengineering and drug delivery, so I work on the formulation of our RNA vaccines. And Kay mentioned that we need to put the RNA into special particles. Why is that? So as Kay mentioned, RNA is really easily degraded by RNAs. So this is also found in your body. So we put it into special particles that prevent it from getting degraded, but also encourage your cells to take up the vaccine. OK, so what goes into these particles? So there's two different things. So there's the RNA and the lipids, which are in two streams here. So the lipids are just normal lipids that are found in your body. So some like cholesterol or others that we've made synthetically uh, that we've specially engineered to deliver the RNA. And how do we actually put the RNA into the particles? So there's two different streams. So the lipids on the left and the RNA on the right, they get combined in this chip and the vaccine comes out the top. How big are the particles? So they're actually really small, around 100 nanometers, which is about 1 one hundredth the size of a hair. That's tiny. Why do they need to be so small? So they have to be that small so that they'll get taken up by the cells in your body. Got it. It doesn't look like there's much in there, though. How many doses is that? That's the really great thing about our vaccine is that it's quite potent. So even in this small volume of one milliliter, there's about 10,000 doses. Great. So what's been the most interesting part of working on the COVID-19 vaccine? For me, I've really enjoyed working on such a collaborative effort. So we've worked with other teams at Imperial and across the world, um, even in our own team. I'm from America, Kay's from Thailand, Kai's from China, and Paul's from Northern Ireland. So it's quite a group effort. And has anything been more difficult than you'd hoped? So we've been, actually been working on this vaccine platform for about three and a half years now. So we've had a lot of failures along the way, but we are really just in the right place at the right time to be able to make a vaccine for COVID-19. Great. So we've got the recipe now, what's next? So now that we have the vaccine, we need to test it. So I'll hand over to Kai to do that. Thank you, Anna. Hi Kai, what's your role in the COVID team? I test the vaccine. So how do we test a vaccine? Uh, as Anna told you earlier, our vaccine will produce a protein from the virus. So first we'll put this vaccine into cells to see if the cells will produce this protein. And then we'll put this vaccine into animals and to see if it will induce good immune response. Great. So what do you need to use to be able to do that? It needs quite a few techniques, uh, but one of them is called neutralization assay. This is to test if the vaccine has uh, induced a good antibody response that will prevent the virus from infecting cells. And how do we know if it's working? Uh, we will take samples from in vaccinated animals and to test them uh, if it can prevent the virus from infection. And also we can give the virus to vaccinated animals to see if they are protected and get, not get infected. So are you testing in humans now then? Uh, yes, the trial started in June. And when do you find out if it works? We now already know it worked in animals and the, the trial, the clinical trial will tell us where, if it will work in human as well. Great. And what's been your favorite part of being on the COVID team? Uh, my favorite part would be be part of this uh, amazing team. Because of the lockdown, there, there were like only a few people who can work on this project. And we have helped uh, each other all the time. Amazing. Thanks for telling us about it. You're I welcome. think Anna will show us out. Uh, yeah, there she is. Just a few things before we go, Anna. When do you think we'll have the vaccine? So our clinical trials started in June and go through December. So we'll be te doing testing during that time. In December, we'll ramp up production and presumably it will be, will be ready in January of next year. Oh, wow. Why does it take so long? So we want to make sure that we release just the most safe and effective vaccine that we can to the general population. So we have to do lots of testing to make sure that's true. And how long does a vaccine normally take to make? Normally, from start to finish, it actually takes around 10 years to license a vaccine. So this is much faster than normal. Oh, wow, that's so much longer than this one. How can it be so much shorter? 
So when the outbreak first started, us and lots of other vaccine groups around the world stopped everything else we were doing to just focus on this one project. So because of that, we we're able to work in a much more rapid fashion than we normally do. Great stuff. So are you using all of the same kit to make this vaccine? Yep, exactly the same stuff you see here, except on a much larger scale. Amazing. Yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. Got to get back to work. Bye, Anna. Good luck.